in the previous one we talked about the data modeling let's talk about the columns and images over here so in columns there are two types of column in power bi which we get number one existing so let's say if you are importing some data in power bi then this this set of columns which you already get other than this you get another you can create another column which is generally referred as calculated columns which we can create using tax functions or any other method right which could be something like this total price which is nothing but the multiplication of unit price and the quantity so few points which we should consider or we need to understand about the columns are cal in for columns calculation is performed on each of the row so if you multiply unit price and quantity the multiplication will happen on each of the row right so what it means is it does not happens on the aggregated level rather it happens on the individual row level okay the way it happens in excel as well next thing is it is visible in your data view so in power view in power bi when you switch to the data view over there you will see your calculated columns just like as we can see total price over here next it occupies the memory right it it occupies the memory in the data now let me take you to the power bi and let me show you how we can create a calculated columns though we have seen that in the previous video but let me recap that for you with a simple example right so i will quickly take you to the power bi and over here i have already imported a data frame sorry uh, excel file which contains quantity and price now i'm going to create another column which will be called as total sales right and which will be multiplication of quantity and uh, unit price so over here just come back in the data view just come into the data view and in the data view what you can do is let me take, go back over here and come back over here in the new column you can go over here in the new column like let, let me see on or on home tab also you can you will find the new column right so from anywhere you can just try it okay there are multiple ways so i'm just going to say total sales all right and the formula which i'm going to use is very simple right so let's say i'm going to say sheet one quantity multiplied by again sheet one the unit price and that is it so we are going to get that value over here produced over here right so this is this is called the calculated column and this will be your dax function right this is your dax function where we just multiplied two columns and we created a calculated column this is it now let's move forward and understand about the measures so as we understood about the columns so over here the points which we should understand is measures on a works on aggregated level right it will not work on individual row level and then next it is never it would never be visible in your data view it is something which is created on fly and used on fly okay then next is it does not occupy any space in the memory right now let me show you how you can create the measures so for example here i go in data view and let's say i want to see the total sales by city so i have or, or maybe, let me just say that i want to see the total sales right so for that what i need to do is i need to create a measure so for that i will hover on this table name in this three dot i just go and i click on new measure there are multiple ways this is the one which is visible one uh, you can create it from here also so let's go ahead and create it from here as soon as i do this right all that i require to do is take a sum of total sales okay so here i'm just going to say sum and total sales that is it it's done i just hit the enter it is created now uh sum of sales rather i should had i can rename this right rename and let me say sum sales okay this is sum of sales now this is done now the next thing i need to see the total sales so here is what i got now you might say that this is something which i can do by simply taking total sales and putting it away here right both of these two are giving the same result and you are absolutely right now let me show you another use case for the measures right so for example in previous video i showed you to create a uh, gauge chart so let's try to create a gauge chart over here now to create a gauge chart what we require is we require three things right minimum value maximum value and the 
target value right so for example you can see over here first of all what is the value that you want to use so i want to use total sales which i already had calculated in calculated columns now i need to provide minimum value maximum value and the target value minimum value i don't need to provide because it is already taking zero maximum value what i can do is i can put it as double of the actual value right so for that for that purpose, I would require to create a measure. So how can I create that measure? So let's just go over here and into this, I'm just going to say, let it just come, okay? Or maybe I can uh, say, let's say uh, maximum, maximum value, maximum sales. So I want to perform the max, I, I want to take 2.5 times of the total sales as the maximum value, right? So for that, I need to do a sheet of, uh, you know, what I need to do is I just need to say sheet sum of sales, I think I can take or rather what i can do is i can say sheet and over here i should say let me just put try to put total i'm not sure if it's going to work because it seems like giving the error oh oops i just made a mistake sorry so what i need to do is i need to say sum then here i need to take total sales and then i need to multiply it let's say 2.5 times right and then i got the maximum value created i'll i'll have the maximum value created yeah you see maximum value is created now uh, what i can do is i can drag and drop that into the maximum value and you see this is the maximum value then i need to create the target amount right so again i will go over here and i'll create new measure and into the new measure i would require to put the target value target value i'm going to put 1.5 times of the act, uh, total sales right so let's say target and here i would say sum and again i'm going to say total sales into 1.5 times so it's just processing it and as soon as it is processed we are going to have it over here now all that i need to do is take this target and put it into the target value now here i got the target value so like you just saw we created two columns on fly one is target and then the maximum sales just right away and when you go into the data view you won't find those columns right which means the both of these two are created on fly and uh, these are not occupying any space into the memory how do you identify a measure from this list to identify that you will you will see this calculator like icon right this this indicates that these are the um these these are the what we can say uh measures right these are the measures so this is a very good use case of you know creating a uh, what we can say is creating a measure now other use case could be let's say i want to find the sum of quantity by city but let's say here i get all these cities right let me convert it into the matrix so here i have all the city i want to find the sum for all of this city except this first one mandala right so sum of quantity i require so for that what i can do is i will create a measure let's just say create a measure and i would require to apply a filter so if it is becoming little complicated you can just skip this and you can focus on this but it is going to be very very simple right sum quantity qty i'm going to say so for that i need to use the function called sum x and into that i into that i need to use filter filter in filter i first require to tell it which table i want to use which is sheet one and then what is the column on which i want to apply the filter so in the sheet one i want to use city column and into that i want to say not equals to m a n d a l a y right this is what and close the bracket for filter filters work is done now the next thing which column i want to sum the the column which i want to sum is quantity which exists in sheet one so from sheet one i can take quantity and then just close the bracket and you can click on this or you can hit enter all right so this measure is created now let me take this and drop it over here now you can see 
that the values are available except quantity some quantity is available except this now if it is confusing let me take just quantity also and you can put it over here so what i see over here is what i see over here is this is the quantity which it is automatically calculating total and this is the quantity which we calculated as measure and then we used it so for for this one we see there is no value for this particular city but into this one we have the value for this particular city i think this was very very simple for you to understand just in case of any question put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to reply on that and solve it out thank you very much this is it about columns and measures